Hello and welcome back to our program series. Where we left off last time was uh, where we now could define a percentage of people who are isolating. But what we actually want to do is we want to set up some experimentation so that we can experiment with different values. So we will now modify our system so that it is easier for us to try out different values of isolation. Next thing that we can do to make our experimentation with the with different isolation percentages um, nicer uh, or easier is I can make the populate method public. If I make this public, um, then I can now um, run this. I can initialize my um, my simulation and I can run it and this runs now with a 50% isolation and when I'm done I can reset it, I can right click it and now because if I right click on the background of the world I get the methods that the world offers me and if um, the populate method is public then I can call it now interactively here from the outside of the world. If the method is private it will not be visible here because it is not allowed to be called from the outside, but now I can call my populate method and I say I want um, just 20% of my people to isolate. And if we click OK now, what we realize now, if you looked closely, this did not now create a new population with, um, it did not only create a new population, but in fact it added the new population to the other one. If I do that again, if I say I want 80%, if you watch the number of people here now, suddenly I have a lot more people. So the, I'm not quite done yet because what, what if I do this now, you know, I've got so many people I get, my, my infection goes out of the roof because I just have too many people. What I actually want to do is when I populate is I want to um, repopulate the world with a different uh, isolation percentage and repopulating means I want to remove the current population and replace it with a different population. The bit that's missing here is the removal of the people that are already in the world. I'm just creating more and more people. So what I do here now is I just say remove objects. I can remove a, an object and that takes a collection of objects and there I just say get objects. Um, get objects of a certain class of person.class. So here I'm getting all the people in the world and then I'm removing them all. So this one line removes all the people and then it replaces them by a new population of people with this percentage. So if I try that out now and then I say I want have a um, different percentage, 10% I want isolating. Now the people were replaced with a population where only 10% are isolating and it also shows that to me here at the beginning. So if I do this only 10% of the people are isolating. This is good. Okay, I get a fairly high graph. And if I reset this, I say I want um, the now 90% isolating, I get a population where 90% will be um, isolating. If we do this, we see now that the graph is actually not quite as high. So with 90% isolation, I get a graph that doesn't go nearly as high as before. So this gives us a nice way to experiment with different percentages. Before we you know, slap ourselves on the back and congratulate ourselves though, um, I have to tell you that this is buggy. We've overlooked something. If I do that again, I reset it, I say I want 30% um, isolation, I run this. Um, if I interrupt it here, do a reset, say I want 10% and I run this again. Now see here, the graph starts at the, at the top here already. So this it shows me the number of infected people is already over 200 even though I have only 200 people in here. So there's something going wrong. What's actually going on here 
is that we used a static variable in the person class to count the number of infected people. And if we count the number of infected people in a static um, field, we have to be really careful because when we reinitialize our, um, our scenario here, all the objects get wiped, they get thrown away, um, new objects get created, so everything that is stored in an object is fine. It will be in reinitialized, it will be reset, but static variables do not automatically get uh, reset when I run my program, um, uh, when I run the same um, code again uh, without actually reinitializing it. So what I need to do is I need to reset my static variables here as well. So here in my person class I need a public static void method and I shall call it reset um, and that just sets the number of infected people back to zero. Um, I need to write a comment here. Okay, so, and then in my here, where I restart everything, I, I remove the objects, I should also say person.reset, that resets the person class. So if we do this now, I reset everything. I say I want now a population where 95% of my population are isolating. You see 95% of the people are not moving and the graph here, the curve is a lot flatter than it was before. So that shows us already this is actually quite an interesting result already, even though my simulation is very trivial. As I said before, my interpretation of isolation isn't actually properly isolation. What I have made these people do is I have just made some people stay still, so they just don't move around. They are not properly isolated because the moving people um, are still running into them and can still affect them. So it's, it's not very effective. Um, social distancing or isolation. So if you are, for example, isolating in your own house, you would not only not go out, but you also, in fact, wouldn't let other people in. Um, so this simulation so far simulates only half of that because these people are not going out, but they still let everyone in who crosses their path. Um, so, But even with this sort of poor man's version of isolation, we can already see a very strong effect. That is it for today. You now have a version of the program where you can experiment quite easily with different percentages of, um, of the population isolating themselves. Uh, you will also see that there is of course an element of randomness in it, so the results you're getting are not always the same, um, but you should see trends over time when you experiment with very high or very low values of um, people isolating. But what we will um, want to do next is actually maybe to modify our program so that it directly compares different levels of isolation and shows us the comparison directly. Um, maybe we want to see multiple graphs on screen so that is what we will work towards um, in the next couple of episodes. For now thank you for listening, bye bye.